Hello folks. Today I wanted to talk about some books that I picked up for really almost no money at all. <clears throat> uh, this, these are all Agatha Christie books that I picked up at two dollars each at a local bookstore that they sell used books. And a wonderful find. Bunch of them and uh, as you can see how small they are so these are really fast quick reads. None of, I have not read any of these. I have read one other Agatha Christie that I have up there. It's called Murder on the Vicarage or at the Vicarage. Murder at the Vicarage and uh, let me just get it. So this I got about two years ago. Read it. This was great fun to read. It's a great author. But a lot of her books, when you go to regular bookstores, are kind of expensive because she's a popular author. My wife and I were just uh, walking around this uh, town, and we passed a bookstore, and I couldn't pass it up. So I started browsing while waiting for my wife and found these books from Agatha Christie for about two bucks each. And I just couldn't pass them up. And, uh, the names of them are Appointed, Appointment with Death, An Overdose of Death, Postern of Fate. Oh, I got this one twice apparently. I didn't even realize. Postern of Fate, Murder in Mesopotamia, A Caribbean Mystery. What Mrs. McKilligutty saw at Bertram's Hotel. So those should be a good read. I should probably go through them really fast and then review them for you. Also, I was of half price books and I picked up uh, for $6 a copy of Sense and Sensibility. The uh, Michael O'Mara Books edition. It's a British edition. I particularly liked the cover. The main reason why I got it was because of the cover. I already have a, another copy of Sense of Sensibility ability from Barnes & Noble. And this is their co copy with a cover. But when you take the cover, and the covers are kind of pretty, but when you take the covers off, there isn't much to the book. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of uh, carving on there. But they're sort of plain. The good thing is about the Barnes & Noble book versions is they have footnotes, as you'll see there, explaining certain things, and endnotes, providing you further detail of some things we may not know, like what a barouche is or what do they mean, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I have not read this version, but it does not have footnotes of any kind. But I still love her, still love her books. But this is a very nice cover for it. I really liked it and felt that I needed to get it. I was hoping to find something that I had not read from Jane Austen. And I got this one, which is Jane Austen shorter works. The most interesting part of this for me was the fact that it has minor novels in here I had never heard of. <clears throat> Leslie Castle, Evelyn, Frederick and Elfrida, Jack and Alice, Edgar and Edma, Henry and Eliza, and the Three Sisters are all novels that I've never heard of. Uh, they're small little novels. There's, of course, the major fragments that I already have, which is the Watsons and Sanditions, which I have not read. And uh, Lady Susan and Love and Friendship, which are complete novels. And I'm definitely looking forward to, to reading those. And I'm kind of excited because um, I never even... I knew I had learned about Lady Susan about a week ago. I had known about Watsons and Sanditions. But I did not know about all these, the rest of these. 
So I'm looking forward to reading this and having fun with it. If you get a chance, stop by a local bookstore, pick up a cheap copy of either Agatha Christie or a used copy of Jane Austen or anything like that, and or maybe a pretty copy if you already have a copy or a paperback version. Hope you enjoyed the reads, and I look forward to reviewing these in the future. Have a great day. An overdog, over, this is the, I don't really need two copies of Sense and Sensibility. Why not?